start hearing me talk. Maybe it's now. I'm going to guess it's pretty soon. I see my stream firing up. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thunder Games and Gifts Lockdown Life Week 3 live streams coming at ya. Um, we've got some cool stuff today for you. Uh, let's hit do that and do that and do that. Yeah, we've got some cool stuff for you guys today. Let's get into it. Uh, once again, January's community support partner is Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we are looking forward to giving them some games and uh, get, uh, getting them some donations from our fans and customers. Thank you very much to Baloney Truck and JR1i so far for your donations to the Thunder Bay Boys and Girls Clubs. They really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is the last week uh, that we will be doing donations for them because it's the end of January coming up. So, um, oh, maybe is there, what is Monday the 30th? No. So, uh, tomorrow will be our final stream where we can accept donations, uh, towards, well, I mean, we can take them anytime if you want to give them, but, uh, next month we'll be having a different community partner to support, to try and get a little bit of help for. So, uh, go ahead and do that, please. Donate to, uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of Thunder Bay using our PayPal donate button on the about section of the Twitch stream. Thank you for considering that. Thank you, Baloney Truck and JR1i for doing that. Um, just today we started our next MTG Arena event. That's all fired up. Historic. So we'll be starting standard again after that one in six or eight days or something along those lines. Uh, pre-orders. We just put up some more pre-orders online yesterday. So we've got the MTG Kaldheim coming up still. Uh, we've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing Vortex. We've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Freezing Chain Structure Deck and Dungeons & Dragons Candle Keep Mysteries. All those are now available for pre-order online. ThunderGamesGifts.com. Go get them. Uh, as a reminder, any uh, collectible that we show on the stream that isn't a certain box for a certain price, if it's just a collectible that we're showing, that we're going to, uh, anything, you can purchase any of those off the stream for 10% less than we would normally list them for so that we don't have to go through all that processing and list them. If you scoop them from the stream, you get a deal. And if you see something from a previous stream that you want, let us know. If we haven't processed it yet, you still get a deal. Today, Today, we've got, got a bunch of different things going on with stream bonuses and deals. Uh, so, the, the first one is if we get $300 worth of online orders today on stream, then uh, everyone that ordered on stream will get a 5% store credit rebate. We also have our largest order bonus. We've got a choice of four items right now for largest order bonus. Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Spirit Charmers, a TGG MTG 60 card battle deck, Red and blue spells. GW Citadel Middenland Tufts. Or the four pocket Pokemon portfolio. So largest order on stream today gets to choose from any one of those items. Lucky you. All right. Uh, two other special deals today. We got a small selection of our delivery of our Kaldheim pre-release kits. What, what? So there's uh, two things we can do with these. If you are watching the stream and you have already purchased a Kaldheim Play at Home pre-release, which comes with a pre-release kit and two bonus booster packs, then you can message the store and we'd be happy to open one for you on stream to say to assign that one to your order. But if you want a stream deal today, you can order these online. Uh, if any of these are in your order and you put the order code Kaldheim in at checkout, you'll get $5 off each one of these kits, but that's so that we can open them on stream. So if you want a deal on the new Kaldheim pre-release kits, you can purchase them on our website using the code Kaldheim for $5 off of them. Uh, it's your, what you're purchasing is the stay at home pre-release. So you will still get the two additional booster packs that come with it. Uh, we just haven't been sent those yet. So I'm not going to open those uh, on stream here. But if you want a deal and you're going to let us open it up on stream, we've got some pre-release kits that you can do that. Get $5 off. We'll open them up on the stream and then you can pick them up as early as this coming Friday. So that's super cool. Um, what else we got? We've got, oh, we're going to do, so tomorrow is our first day where we are trying to do, oh, I don't have my chat up. Bad, bad, bad Hoyt. Hello, Darth. Um, we are, tomorrow is our first setup and actually Darth Dreads is going to be doing our first booster box split 
stream for us. We've got three booster boxes set to be able to, to do those splits to, uh, tomorrow. We've got Commander Legends, super cool, Zendikar Rising, one of the newer sets, and Core Set 2021, which had a lot of really great cards in it, Ujin and stuff. Uh, so, the deal that we're offering on stream today is if you purchase um, if you purchase any four of those booster box splits set for tomorrow's stream uh, of the same value, you'll, we'll give you a fifth booster box split of your choice that is the same value for those boxes tomorrow. So let's say you buy two Battle for Zendikar spots and two M21 spots, you could get an extra spot in either the Battle for, or I keep saying Battle for Zendikar, Zendikar Rising or M21, you can get a uh, you can get an extra spot in one of those those two, or if you buy four spots in the Commander Legends one, then you can get an extra spot in the Commander's Legends one. The way that booster box splits work again is that you purchase one out of eight slots of a booster box. They're divided by color: black, red, white, blue, green, gold, colorless uh, artifact, col colorless slash artifact land. Those are the eight categories. Uh, depending on how many people sign up, we put their names on the screen. Any empty spots get filled in with the store. We randomize those names uh, uh, um, and assign them to the colors randomly. And then we open it all up and we show you what you get and you get assigned the colors that you got. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. So we've got deals on that. Um, we also have our continuation of our Commander Green that we're offering for 80 bucks and a good deal. And we're actually dropping the price on the stream deal on this Legendary Duelist Season 2 brick. Uh, with the stay-at-home order and everything else, uh, product is not moving. We're a little bit overstocked on this. We normally sell this for $140 for the brick. If you purchased all the items, the eight packs in it at retail, it'd be $160. We were offering this for $125 on a stream deal, and I'm lowering it to $100. So basically, buy five, get three free. $100 brick of Legendary Duelist Season 2, Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want it, come and get it. All right. Uh, we've got a big Beastmen army trade-in that we just processed to show off. Uh, some plastic, some pewter, some old models, some new models. Golthor, the Beast Lord. Uh, you know, he's cool. So we're going to check that stuff out. Uh, and I think that gets us down to starting it. Hey, let's start, shall we? Let's indeed do that. Okay, so uh, we today what we're going to start with is we're going to start. We don't have any openings planned unless maybe we get some of those uh, Kaldheim stay-at-home pre-release uh, orders ordered with the Kaldheim five dollars off coupon. Yeah, yeah, and we can open some of those. That'll be fun. But until we see some of that start happening. We're going to look at some GW. GW. All right. Hey, we got our fancy self self turning pedestal, auto rotating pedestal. So maybe that'll be good. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Also noticed that last stream after moving the microphone, the sound was better, but it was on the bare wood of the table and me bonking the table and stuff was worse. So we've just laid out a full size play mat on this table and I'm hoping that the whole microphone situation gets better with me doing this. Hopefully you can hear this a lot less and it's not going brum brum anymore, but who knows? I can't tell. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, I hadn't counted on this board thing. I mean, we might have to leave this as a more permanent setup. I like to take this down because it's kind of in the frame and when we're on the big screen and it looks a little silly, but you know, it is lockdown life. We might just have to live with stuff here. We might just have to live with it. Okay, let's get our next scene set up. Ba bam Okay different camera set up here today as well um, so we'll see how she go there's a little LED in the middle there but I don't think we're gonna be using that I think that's just gonna be more annoying than anything but we'll see we'll see what happens let's get our light on there 
Okay, so let's start with some of these beast men. All right. Okay, here we go. So, first we have a set of Bulgors. Bulgors there. These ones are plastic Bulgors. Let's see, which button do I press for this? <laughs> Okay, Bulgors, this flat black primed on there doesn't help a whole heck of a lot, but uh, our other one would have been black too. So anyway, there you go. Let's, let's see, maybe we'll turn the light on. Maybe the light will help us. If we don't have it right there. Does the light help us? I think it actually doesn't hurt necessarily. We'll just leave that on for right now. It's not blinding anyone or whatever. So there we go. Oh, I've covered up chat again. I've got to get a better setup. We are the fanciest. Okay, so three plastic bulgors we've got right there. I'm going to have to like glue this thing to the bottom or something so that I, I can actually turn these things off when I need to. All right, three plastic bulgors. Uh, again, all the stuff I'm showing off here will be sold at a discount of 10% less than we would normally list it for once we get it listed as used on our website and stuff. Here is some pewter bulgors. Pewter bulgors, nice standard bearer there. Just a little base. Ooh, this guy's a monster. I wonder if that guy's even something special. Two giant handed axes like that. I bet you he's something special. Anyway, let's take, take a look-see. All right, this is already better. I still want to look at the models over here, but I don't have to, because I know they're turning, you can see them, everything's fine. The black, the black prime situation is not super ideal right now. Um, I, I wonder if maybe just putting this thing closer to the ground would be better. I don't know how to do this. I just have messed all this up now. Okay, forget it. Okay, there we go. Bulgors, metal bulgors. Okay, I'm not going back to the old technology. We gotta make the new technology work. All right, here we go. Those guys are cool. Those guys are cool. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put a couple character looking models on here. These are all pewter. Uh, I don't think this two-handed axe guy actually is, is a character, but he could be. He could be an HQ. These guys definitely are HQs of some kind. I have to assume that this is some kind of shaman, maybe some kind of named shaman or something. He's got a whole bunch of sort of spell effects and stuff coming off of him there. Oh, the primed black. What a bad day for the first... What a bad day for the cool rotating pedestal with the, the black prime like that. You know what? I am going to take a minute here and reset this camera. Okay, let's see if that lower profile helps us get a better profile shot of those guys a little bit now a little better a little better maybe who knows okay all right so there are some more beast men models beast men all right uh, if you're out there i see we've got a few viewers if you're out there in viewer land show us throw us a hello so we know who's hanging out oh Stop the rotating so you can do it nice. Okay, so we've got a set here of four. I guess I'll do that a little better. Four metal dragon ogors. Dragon ogors. Get to spinning. Ah, this is nice. I could just be like, hey, how's it going, guys? Check out the models over here. I'm not doing work. I don't have to be like, oh, yep, looks good. Spins nice. I like it. I do done like it. All right, you know what? While those guys are spinning, I'm going to throw the last couple models that we have in this bin on there. 
I believe that one might be a great Bray Shaman, maybe? And maybe just a Lord of some variety? I'm not 100% sure what those two plasticky guys are. But uh, if you like these men, you probably know if you need them or not. So there they are. All right, now let's just get those guys all back off of there. Oh, I can take them off when it's rotating nice, and then you guys still get to see the models as they rotate. But putting them on while they rotate is a little sketch bag. Okay, there was some of our cool beastmen. We got tons of beastmen to show off here today. It's a little bit out of my reach, unfortunately. Okay, this here is a Tusk Gore Chariot. Um, we believe that this is meant to have another model with it on the, on the back, and we're pretty sure we have it in the big bin of things I'm about to show you, because we have a huge bin of pewter Beastman models, and I'll probably even find it as I'm sort of showing them all to you guys. So that is the Tusk Gore Chariot old pewter looks like a boar chariot tusk gore that makes sense the beast men are, are sort of half boars some of them i think i don't know uh so there we go the tusk gore chariot we might just want to get a couple of different colored discs to put on here so if we've got primed black models we can put the white disc on if we've got primed white models we can put the black disc on maybe something like that maybe something like that who knows okay let's do these a little closer while i'm at it here let's do big papa big papa boar so this guy is definitely a named character because it's in the box with a name on it well, I have the box anyway. It's another chariot model. There's his big spear arm. And this is Gothor, Gorthor, the Beast Lord. Gorthor, the Beast Lord. There we go. I got Echo going today. Oh, is it still echoing? We only have one audio in. Okay, Def, thanks for, hey, Suds, nice to see you. Thanks for letting us know if it's, if it keeps, if it keeps doing that, let me know. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be about. Nothing else is playing. Anyway, let me know. Let me know if it's still doing it. Uh, Gorthor the Beast Lord, there he is in all of his glory. Yeah, we haven't changed any settings that would have messed with an like with an echo or added any new mics or anything. Let me see. When I stop talking, um, no, it doesn't seem to be picking up more sounds after I stop. I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, it's not terrible. I'll listen to it after this and and see how it was, and we'll try to fix it up. Try to fix it up here. Maybe I'll mute the mic and unmute it. You know, turn it off and turn it back on again. There we go. We're back. Maybe that'll fix it. Who knows? All right. Look at this awesome bin of cool old pewter beast men. Look at these guys. We're going to start lining them up. Lining them up. Rotating them around. These guys, these old pewter models have so much flair. How many pieces of flair did you bring to, to work today? Well, let's see. I've got my uh, I got my murderer's cap on. I've got my two-handed murderer's axe. Uh, I've got my some sort of crazy flail with a bunch of bells on the end of it that I'm going to bash you with. Okay, I guess you brought your flair. You're all set then. Uh, oh, this guy looks cool. That guy looks Let's see. Lots of lots of pewter beasties in here. Lots of pewter beasties. As you can see, a couple of them definitely have the same sculpts there that I'm kind of lining up. There's also some plastic beast men. I'm not gonna show off 
some the the majority of the smaller plastic beast men i've got one section of trays of some of the better plastic guys that i'm going to show you lots more beasties lots more beastie guys a lot of these guys look pretty close to the same but then their weapon ends up being slightly different or their helmet is slightly different some of them are definitely the same sculpts you know how it was back in the gw days they only made so many so many sculpts of the similar models How's that looking on there? Is it looking pretty crowded? Can you kind of see what's going on back there? Well, when I take them off, I'll take the front row off first so that you can start to see what's in the back row there. Well, that's pretty good, actually. I was kind of worried about this, uh, this turntable thing. It said everything needed to be center loaded and it was like weight restrictive and everything but i just piled a bunch of pewter on the outside of it and it seems to be doing okay so i'm gonna go with it's pretty good uh it's all good just thought i'd let you know okay yeah let, let me know keep letting me know like if if it's if it's just bad the whole time let me know um like at the end of the stream let me know if it was bad the whole time or whatever you message me you know how it is you know where to get a hold of me okay i got a few more metal guys here I'm going to take the outside ring off as they come around here. Oh, look at how handy this is. I'll let you guys get a look at that inner ring there. All right. Come on, beasties. Come on, beasties. There we go. We'll put you guys nicely right there. And what else we got in here? We got some more pewter guys. So lots of pewter beast men. Lots of pewter beast men. Oh, well, these are guys pewter too. Got some little teeny tiny pewter guys. We'll put them on the next batch. The next batch. The teeny pewter guys. Oh, that's a bigger guy. Kind of fancy helmet guy. There we go. There's some more beast men's right there, pewter ones. Just trying to show off the good stuff, the pewters. Okay. All right, I think that is most of, if not all, of the pewter larger models. So while you guys take a gander at those, I'm going to get the pewter smaller models here, the older Pewter Beastmen models that we have in this trade. Ooh, those are cool, nice little sadder with a sound in the old horn alarm. Um, what have we got here? There's a Pewter guy. And those guys are plastic guys. Okay, so I'll take the inside track off this time first so you can see the uh, so you can see the outside track that we just laid down there. And I'll start putting some of these little guys on here. So these are also pewter. I'm not very familiar with beast men. I know there's gores and ungores and bestigores and gorgons and all kinds of things. Uh, I think, I, th I don't know. I always get confused. I always think ungores are the small ones because they sound like they should be small, like they're ungore. But uh, I have a feeling that those, I'm always wrong, and those are actually the bigger ones. There's our little musician guy there sounding the alarm. Okay, so I'll take these bigger guys off and you guys can take a look at the nice little the little ones rotating around there. Look at that. Man, that's fancy. I'm so fancy. Oh, late to the party. Pewter. Pewter. 
it's just going to turn into an Arnold Schwarzenegger situation. I'm going to have to say funny words all the time, weird, <laughs> weird accents. Okay, there we go. Let's get those pewter little beast men off of there. Well, actually, you look at them while I figure out what else to show off. Here we go. Let's grab the plasticky ones. All right. So, uh, why don't we just put some of these plastic ones on there? All right. Oh, that guy's little tummy piece fell off. He's got some kind of little accessory on his gut. Oh, and his head fell off, too. Well, there he is. All right, so we got some cool beast men's here. Some of them are prime, some of them are not. Oh, the rotating pedestal, look at this, it's so fancy. Doing this is, is not particularly ideal in the videos in general, just because it takes so much time to like set things up and take things down. But this is definitely better. This is definitely an improvement. And uh, hopefully it works good on your end. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna put all of them out. I'll put a couple more out, just so you see that we've got sort of We've got a few trays of those types of guys that are rotating around there now. And then also these guys, the slightly, um, there's the, I think it's mostly their horns that tell, like the little nub nose guy, nub horned guys are one gore, the medium sized horns are another gore, and then the really long horns are like the best of gores, maybe. Again, I, for, I always get mixed up between who's who, uh, which gores are which, but. There is a couple of the, the smaller horned guys. We've got a tray of full of those guys as well. Oh, looks like about two trays full of those less armored, smaller guys. Oops. Sometimes they stick to the bottom of the trays, the foam trays, because they're very uh, spiky. They're very uh, spiky. Okay, so that is uh, that's an example of our uh, of our plastic beast men that we had uh, for this one. Where are those little guys? There they are. Make sure to put them on the right tray. So if you need beast men, let us know. I got some more coming still here. Oh, I guess I actually need to put those ones away. So let's put these over here for now. And I can go over here as well. And we'll get out this guy. So we had actually shown this guy off on a previous stream, but it did come in with this big Beastman trade and it is a Beastman model. We just haven't had a chance to, uh, to show him off with the Beastman. So here is, I believe, a Beastman Gorgon. Beastman Gorgon. And uh, you take a look at him there while I get all these big guys out of here with their all their various pieces, bits and bitses and pieces. That guy's pretty cool, that big Gorgon guy. He's pretty neat. <laughs> the joys of Warhammers. So much fun to play with and paint. A little bit annoying to store and put away all the time. But very cool to paint up and display a big fancy army that you're proud of creating and painting on your shelf. I wish I had more time for hobbies. <laughs> Ever since I started the store, I do less hobby stuff than I ever have. All right, here we go. The last. The last Beastman item, and actually I should be starting to check on orders here. I've, I've been forgetting. Let's do the old double check. 
Discount double check. A Rod, come get some. Tom Brady just can't get past Tom freaking Brady. Like he's in my conf division or conference or whatever now. Like I, I never used to have to go through him to get to the Super Bowl. First year where he's with the Bucks, I gotta go straight through him, and we failed. And we failed. <laughs> Better than the Vikings, though. Uh oh. All right, Gorgon. You love him. Come get some. Okay. Uh, this. This is not a complete Beastmen Battalion. This Beastmen Battalion box has 10 gores left in it unassembled and a whole bunch of extra bits. So um, I'm not really going to show it all off to you exactly here. I'm just going to show you the sprues, the complete sprues that would make the gores. And then all the other stuff is just bonus bits for you. So there you can see that rotating there. Can you see those? Not terribly. Not terribly, I suppose. Um, you can see that's a complete sprue. There's no missing pieces there. And as if you're familiar with the way that GW does things, uh, you generally get extra weapons and arms and heads and things, but only one body or torso type piece. So there are 10 torso pieces on here with all the arms heads weapons options and then inside the box there's like this is this is four 16 shield sprues so you got 10 guys and like 50 shields <laughs> so and there's bigger shields in here and standard bearers and and extra weapons and stuff so this is uh basically we would just be charging for 10 used gores and you would get all of this extra stuff with it and we do 10% off our 10 used gores price because it's on the stream too. So, pa pow! Come get some. Come get some. All right, that's the end of that. So, what do we got here now? 407. Okay. Let's check the old orders here. Mm -hmm. Well, there's been an order since we were on stream. And did anybody order some Pokemon booster packs? Pokemon booster packs. Anybody on chat? In chat. <clears throat> okay, let me know if you did. And we'll get everything set up with the largest order and whatnot. Um, while we're in a bit of a pause here a bit of a break please remember to go to facebook youtube instagram <laughs> tiktok we just started tiktok we might do some stuff on there we'll check it out uh and twitch of course uh, like and follow us on all those things uh don't forget we've got the commander collection deal green green deal for 80 bucks today the legendary duelist season two for only a hundred bucks today crazy deal actually let's do do that let's do that we got this thing for a crazy deal here and I'm really hoping somebody pulls the trigger on one of these on the internet so I get to open it and give it to you uh, remember we've got five dollars off pre-release kits uh, pardon me five dollars off the stay at home pre-release which is already a great deal um, so the stay-at-home pre-release uh, that you can purchase at, uh, for pre-order on thundergamesandgifts.com is $35.39 plus tax. What you get is your pre-release kit, that's six booster packs plus a guaranteed foil uh, rare plus a spin-down dice plus an arena code probably for a draft on arena, maybe for a sealed or maybe for some packs. They, they do it differently sometimes. Um, and the two packs. So you're getting eight booster packs, a guaranteed foil rare, a die, and an arena card only for only $35.39 normally. And today, if you purchase it and let me open it for you on stream, it's going to be even $5 cheaper than that. Uh, so that's a fantastic deal. Uh, basically $30.39 plus tax for eight booster packs. Uh, uh, plus the foil rare, plus the dice, plus the, plus the fun. So let me know. Let me know about that. And if you want to do that, that could be a lot of fun. Um, check this action out 
here. Okay. Uh, well, we've got a little ways to go yet, and I don't have a whole lot of fun things to do. I was kind of hoping we might get some booster box splits orders going on that I would take care of, or maybe some of these. So why don't I just open one of these? I'm going to open one, and uh, we'll take a look at what's going on, see some new Calheim cards. That'll be fun. And uh, go from there. Pow. Nothing special there. Is what it is. Let's take a look, see. What do we got in here? Look at that nice stack of land packs and stuff. Look at that stack of packs. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Kaldheim booster packs. What did we get here? Foil Dragon Kin Berserker. Foil Dragon Kin Berserker. Two mana for a 2 2 first strike human berserker. Boast abilities you activate cost one less to activate for each dragon you control. And boast for one red and four colorless, create a 5 5 red dragon creature. So, boast is an ability. Activate this ability only if the creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. So, for two mana, you get a 2 2 first striker, and every time it attacks, it would also reduce its boast cost. So the first time you attack, you get a 5-5 flying dragon for 5. And the next time you attack, if you have that dragon out, you get the dragon for 4, etc., etc. Plus, if you have cast any cheap dragons before this guy, you're just going to be casting dragons. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, maybe he's good. I don't know. I like that guy. Let's, uh, let's get... Let's, I forget how I did this now. Yeah, that's how I did it. Let's get this going. There's my fancy, my fancy card stand for the good stuff to show off the good stuff. Put these packs there for everyone to see. Let's get out the old gloveys. So first we'll put this guy on there, the old Buzzerker. Down a little more so it focuses on that guy a little better. Stream pros, streaming pros. I had this all sorted out and then and then it's another day. It's a new day today, so I guess I don't. Changed our table setup today, and all of my reference markings are gone. This isn't going to work very good. You know why? Probably because I have it on the wrong camera. Nope. Okay, who knows? Technical difficulties. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to leave it like that, and we'll just do it this way. All right. Dragonkin Berserker. Here we go. Uh, these will be the first packs of this set that I've opened. Um, I haven't really seen any spoilers, so I don't really know what's going on. There's the uh, there's the fancy die that you get in there. This one's green and white. The last couple sets they've done, or last set anyway, maybe, they've done like a, where you can get an exclusive collectible die in some of them. I don't know if they did that this time. I feel like I saw a cool 20-sider for Kaldheim, but I'm not sure what it's for. Okay, so I'm not going to show off that uh, code card. Oh, it's not in this pack anyway. It's not in the packs. All right, we're going to do all of these cards because they're brand new. So let's take a look. Master Scald. Dwarf Warrior. Yeah, we got a lot more dwarves in this set. I haven't had any dwarf love in a while. Got a lot more dwarves. Disdainful Stroke. That's a nice handy counter spell they've done lately. Breakneck Berserker, Dwarf Berserker, 3-2 Haste for 3. Warhorn Blast, classic white pumper spell, 5 mana, plus 2, plus 1 for all your creatures till end of turn with the new Fortell mechanic. During your turn, you may pay 2 and exile this card from your hand face down to cast it on a later turn for its Fortell cost. Huh? I guess you can protect it from discard... You can get more than seven cards in your hand. I don't know what Fortell's all about. 
Should have looked that up a little faster. Changelings. Oh, the changelings are back. Masked Vandal, 1-3 changeling. When it enters the battlefield, exile a creature card from your graveyard. And if you do, you get to exile an artifact or an enchantment. I like it. It's any creature type. It fits into, like, whatever creature deck you want it to. I like that. Skull Raid, Skull Raid, uh, four mana, sorcery, discard two cards. If you also, if they didn't have cards, you get to draw the cards. Oh, interesting. I like that. That's cool. Iron Verdict, three mana, five damage to a tapped creature. Foretell one white. Gold Vein Pick. We got an equipment. Plus one, plus one. And create a treasure token when you hit the player. You're mining the player for treasure with your with your pick, I guess. Augury Raven, 3-3 three, three, Bird, Flying, Foretell 2. Arachnoform, 2 green aura, uh, 2 mana green aura, plus 2, plus 2. Gets Reach and Changeling, essentially. Becomes every creature type. All right, we've got a Legendary Uncommon Human Warrior 1-3 Death Touch for 2. That's pretty decent. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals combat to a player. Oh, Poison Counters. Death Touch for Poison. What? And it's green. And it's only 2. What? Interesting. That's going to do some things, I bet. I bet you it is. It's going to do some things. All right, what do we got here? Fearless Liberator. Oh, look at that guy. That guy kind of looks like the, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of his name now. The, you know, well, that was a fail. I'm thinking of um, Jeff Goldblum's character from Thor Ragnarok, the big guy with all the makeup and the, the his, uh, his ship that flies around with the party on it. Anyway, Valkyrie's Sword, two mana, equipment, white equipment. If you pay an additional five when it comes in, you get an angel. All right, cool. And we've got, oh, look at this, Vorinclex, the new Vorinclex. That's pretty cool. Nice mythic rare right there, Vorinclex. Uh, what else do we get here? Oh, Snow Covered Forest. Look at that, Snowland. Wow, did they ever snowland that up it's not green at all <laughs> that's pretty cool i bet you that looks awesome in foil and an elf oria foreign clex looking good looking good yeah it does kind of look like george lucas there's our foreign clex all right so reminder we've got lots of deals on stream today Total orders of 300 or more, everybody gets 5% back. Buy four box splits uh, that are dated for tomorrow's stream and get one of the same value free. Uh, or purchase Kaldheim pre-release kits online uh, with the code Kaldheim during the stream and you get $5 off and I'll open it on the stream. Gold Maw Champion, Mists of Lit. Litjara, flash, it can only enchant a creature or a vehicle. <laughs> Enchanted creature gets minus three minus oh. Five mana, five, four, with boast, where it can do one damage when it attacks. But since you can only activate that once each turn, that doesn't seem great. We got the Scald again. Death Nail Berserker, elf, a black elf berserker. Two, two for two, when it dies, if its power was three or greater, it's an elf, that can't be that hard. You get a black zombie berserker. That's cool. I like that. That's flavorful. Horizon Seeker, human warrior, three, two. Whoa, every turn you get to search your library for a basic land into your hand. That's pretty cool. Arachnoform, we saw that already. Run ashore. This is going to be blue annoying stuff. I can already tell. Six mana, choose one or both. Bounce a per non-land permanent to the top or bottom of their library, or return a non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Interesting. Six mana? <laughs> Vault Robber. Two mana, one, three. Dwarf Rogue. 
I didn't know dwarves were really sneaky, but I guess I guess some of them could be sneaky. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Create a treasure token. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's not terrible. A legendary creature, white and red dwarf warrior. Whenever non no, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Creature tokens that you control that are enchanted or equipped get plus one, plus one. Whoa. Red, white token business. Dwarf token enchantments. There's a lot going on with that card. Okay, we got a fancy land here. Enters tapped, add a red. Or pay a whole bunch of mana and scry two. And then do two damage to each creature. Whoa, pyroclasm land. Interesting. That could be cool. That could be cool. Gotta sack it, but still. Some new sagas. These sagas are neat. Forging the Tyrite Sword. First two times you get a treasure token, and then you get to tutor up a card. Halvar, God of Battle. Or any equipment, apparently. And put it into your hand. Oh, another mythic! Double mythic already! Burning Rune Demon. Somebody should have bought this one and had it on order opened on stream. Wah wah, too bad for you. <laughs> I'm sure these other ones are great too. Okay, let's put him up. Well, we got a foil back there too. Wonder what that's gonna be. Let's put him up here with old Vorinclex. Snow-covered swamp and foil invoke. Oops. Foil invoke the divine. This cord is kind of falling off of there. With technology, I guess it doesn't always anymore, lots of wireless stuff, but comes lots of cords. And it's tricky to work the stream around a whole bunch of cords that tug things left, right, and center all the time. All right, what do we got here? Gold Ma Champion. Is that echo still there? Let me know if we're still echoing. Gold Ma Champion. We've seen the Mists of Litjara already. We've seen the Haggy Mob. The Guardian Gladewalker. That's new. 2-2 two, two Shapeshifter Changeling. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That's handy in a Changeling. It's not bad. Village Rights. Sack a creature, draw two cards. I've seen this card get in play. This is, must be a reprint. I've been getting that played against me on uh, Historic there on uh, Arena. Stalwart Valkyrie, Angel Warrior, four for a three, two. Pay two exile a creature card from your graveyard rather than pay the mana cost. Ooh, two for a three, two flying. If you can dredge a dump a creature into your ditch right away. Yeah, it's still echoing, eh? That's super weird. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I'm one of these mics must be active, even though the stream doesn't say it's picking it up from anywhere. I don't know what to say. Dusk, we had lockdown life problems. Lockdown life problems. We solve some problems and new problems arise. Uh, sorry, one for a one-two boast where you can drain them for one. That's not terrible for one colorless mana every time it attacks. I like that. The pack mate. We got a wolf. Four for three, three wolf. Draw a card when it enters the battlefield. That's pretty good with a foretell. Neat. Open the omen paths. Oh, there's a snow. You can see the snow border on this one. That's a snow creature. It's a yeti. The frost peak yeti. Can't be blocked this turn if you pump some snow into them. Okay, another one of these uh, lands here. I'm surprised they're not snow lands the way that they've been doing this here. Gain two life, draw two cards. Pretty decent for an ability off a of land. Rune of Might. Enchant permanent. Uh, draw a card when it comes in. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and trample. As long as enchanted permanent is an equipment... It has equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and trample. Uh, what? You can enchant an equipment to give the equipment permanent bonuses when it moves around? Wow, that's cool. Or a rune. Or a rune. Interesting. Bloodline Pretender. Shapeshifter. This is, looks like it's supposed to be a vampire, but it's not. It's an artifact. Shapeshifter. Choose a color. Or choose a type. And put a plus one, plus one counter on this guy when you get one of those types. Reflection, reflections of Litjara. Choose a creature type. 
Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. Awesome. That seems really cool. And a mountain forest snowland. Cool. Common, apparently. Common tapland mountain forest. Neat, y'all. Reflections of Lit Jara. All right. We've got three more packs to go through here. Uh, it is 425. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on today in the streamland, so we're gonna do. We're gonna start our cool down. Uh, so in five minutes at 4:30, we'll 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 end the stream for today after we open these few packs here. And uh, as always, anything you've seen on stream today, you can message us about. If we haven't sold the deal thing, like the Commander Green or the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, brick, then uh, you can still get those. If we have, then you're out of luck any of the used items like these cards I'm opening, um, Pokemon cards we've opened, used games workshop models, message us if you want those. And as long as we haven't processed them online, listed them online or anything, you can still get the 10% off stream pricing as well. We've got another snow um, item, snow permanent, giant wizard. That's kind of cool actually. You don't see a lot of wizard giants. Four, 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 can't block alone. Snow creature, zombie snow creature, three for three, two. What? It's three for a three, two, and you can pump it and give it menace. Not terrible for a common, that's for sure. Not Vold Recluse, Spidey with Reach, four, two, Spidey. Destroy target artifact or enchantment, you gain four life. That's the draw card wolf we saw right there again. Jarl of the Forsaken, zombie cleric, three, two, four, flash. 3-2 for 4 with flash, enters the battlefield, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. That was dealt damage this turn. Interesting. With a foretell. We've seen Omen of the Open Path or Open the Omen Paths already. Raven Wings. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one, has flying, and is a bird. <laughs> Struggle for Skefmar. Four mana, plus one plus one, and then fight with foretell option. Skemfar Shadow Mage, four mana, two, five. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Uh, I will gain, my opponent loses X life, uh, where greatest number of, greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common, or you gain X life for that same thing. <laughs> Dual Strike, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost four or less this turn, copy that spell. Interesting. Foretell. We've got another legendary creature. Oh, this one's a giant wizard again. 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage, if a giant wizard or spell you control dealt damage to it this turn, draw a card. Well, wow. all right. Fair enough. And we've got a pathway. We've got some pathways now. They're they're re they're filling out the pathways. All right, filling out the pathways. Snow cover mountain. Two more packs. We're doing good so far. Two mythics out of four packs. I like that. Uh, one two flash. Oh, that's pretty good for one mana. You get a one two flash, and you hurt to take down one of their attacks by negative two negative zero. Oh. Target attacking creature gets plus three plus three and gains trample until end of turn. Not bad. Oh, target creature gets plus three plus three and flying until end of turn. Untap it. A little ambush there. Uh, three one life link elf cleric. Each player mills three cards when it dies. Mammoth growth. This is not giant growth. This is mammoth growth. Three mana plus four plus four for a foretell. A little annul. That's a nice little reprint there. Ravenous lindworm. This looks new, I think. Six for six, six. Gain four life when he comes into play. Squash. This spell costs three less to control if you control the giant. To cast if you control the giant. Deal six damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's actually really good if you control a giant. That's a that's a two mana instant six damage to a creature or a planeswalker. Pretty good. Raiders Carve. We've got some uh, vehicle here, of course, with the ships. That makes sense. You get to put it on to... Oh, it's kind of like a goblin guide effect here because they're 
There's the carve. That's probably like an explorer type ship. Behold the multiverse. Four mana. Scry two. Draw two. Foretell two. Interesting. That's pretty decent. Frost auger. One, two. Look at the top card of your library. If it is a snow card, put it to your hand. Scrying sheets. It's going to be good. Invasion of the giants. Two mana. Saga. Scry two. Then draw a card. You may reveal a giant from your hand. If you do, this deals two damage. And then the next giant spell you cast this turn costs two less to cast. I'm not crazy about this one. This doesn't seem great unless giants are something really fancy. Ooh, I like these runes though. What's the red rune? Enters the card. Enters the battlefield draw card. That's like the rune, I guess. Uh, it gets plus one plus O oh, and haste. So you can give, oh, haste. That's really good. That's going to be a good commander card. Putting haste on any one of your equipments on a commander deck. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mask Wood Nexus for four. Creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Wow, that's super neat. And just for four mana, you create a 2-2 two -two of all, all, all types. Wow. That's good. I like that. I like that. The Mask Wood Nexus. That's pretty cool. Snow-covered mountain and a double-sided check land, check land card thing. All right, last pack. Let's see if we get a really fancy foil of some variety. Some kind of maybe big foil mythic or even just any other mythic would be great. We're already doing good with two mythics out of six packs. All right, run amok. We've seen that already. Wings of the Cosmos, we've seen that one. Draugr Thought Thief, 3-2 three, for 3. When it enters the battlefield, look at target player's library. You may put that card into their graveyard. The Tuscary Firewalker, three, they like these 3 for 3 twos in this set. Boast 1, exile your own cards. You may play that card this turn. Snowland, Glittering Frost, Snow Enchantment. Enchanted Land is snow. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, you can add an additional one mana of any color. Three mana? Mm, yeah, mm, I don't know. Not great. Two mana Wither Crown. Enchanted Creature has base power zero. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you sacrifice this creature. Ooh, interesting. So that's just kind of an annoying card. Masked Vandal we've seen. Vault Robber, the old Dwarf Rogue we've seen. We saw the Iron Verdict. Dogged Pursuit, four mana at the beginning, enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Ugh, I've been uh, dealing with ill-gotten gains lately. Oh, we got something cool back there. Uh, looks like we've got a, a showcase card back there. Dogged Pursuit, Glimpse the Cosmos. Uh, two mana, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. As long as you control a giant, you may cast Glimpse of the Cosmos from your graveyard by paying just a blue. Then you exile it. Huh, two mana. Two mana Brainstorm without actually drawing the card, so obviously not Brainstorm. Uh, and then you can pay it for one mana if you have a giant. Interesting. What do we have here? We've got a uh, uncommon legendary demon berserker. Demon berserker. Harder. The Doom Scourge. That guy's really cool looking. Put him there. Let's put him there because he's cool looking. Uh, the Hailstorm Valkyrie. Snow Creature Angel Wizard. Four mana, two, two, flying trample. Pumpable. For plus two, plus two for two snow land. Wow. That actually seems pretty good. Four mana is a little rough, but... Egon, the god of death. I don't know. Egon was a pretty nice guy. I mean, he might have been the god of death to ghosts, I suppose. Oh, so funny. What is going on here? Three mana, six, six, death touch. What? At the beginning of your upkeep, exile two cards from your graveyard. If you can't, sack him and draw a card anyway. Oh, what a downfall. Oh, shucks. <laughs> so terrible. And a dual land snow land. Those look very nice. Those are going to look really cool in foil. Hey, Hoyt, why don't you actually show the picture you're talking about, eh? Very nice. All right. Super cool. Okay. Well, we've got 434. That was a bit of a nine minute cool down. Let me refresh here to see if we, I owe anybody a stream, largest order stream present or anything like that. Let's check this out here. 
Did anybody on stream make an order for a uh, magic single, Kenrith the Returned King? Anybody on stream order Kenrith? All right, well, thanks, everybody. I'm going to just wait to uh, see you here for a minute if anybody did order that on stream. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for coming out again. I'll do the quick rundown reminders. Uh, please consider supporting Boys and Girls Club through our donate button on Twitch. Uh, don't forget you can pre-order Kaldheim, Yu-Gi-Oh! Blazing, Blazing Vortex, Yu-Gi-Oh! Freezing Chain Structure Deck, and Dungeons & Dragons Candlekeep Mysteries on ThunderGamesAndGifts.com now. Um, and that's about it. Let us know if you need anything. We're here to help. We'll see you tomorrow for our uh, for our box splits stream. If we don't get any to, any box splits ordered tomorrow, um, we're gonna we're just gonna open a box of Battle for Zendikar on stream anyway because we didn't get a chance. We can use some more Battle for Zendikar singles, and I'm not gonna be around to really make anything else happen. So um, Darth Dreads will be here having fun with you. He'll be opening some cards no matter what. So come on by, see what we open. Um, if the box splits aren't purchased then cards that we open can be uh purchased off the stream for 10 percent. so just chat with darth threads say hey you know i'd like to get that card you just opened in the twitch chat or whatever and he'll make sure that card gets set aside for you so you can scoop it up all right everyone thanks again for hanging out with us for a little while here during lockdown life we'll see you next time